Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Cisco Packet Tracer tutorial for beginners. Siawash is here and today I want to talk about the STP or Spanning Tree Protocol. STP is a layer 2 mechanism to prevent the loop in your network and ensure that you have a loop free network environment. Sometimes in your networks, because of redundancy, the loop will occur. Let's take a look at this scenario here. Okay, we got three different switches, two PC and one server. They want to communicate to each other. Let's say PC number one try to find this server. So to do that, it will send one broadcast from this switch. This switch will send out the broadcast from this way and this way. When the switch number zero receive the broadcast it will send out to all other ports except the receiving one which means this way and this way at the same time this switch also received the broadcast from switch 2 and it will send it from this way and this way but don't forget this switch also received another broadcast from the switch number 0 which will send from here and here it also happened on a switch 2 when it receive any broadcast from this side, it will send it back here and here and when at the same time this switch receives the broadcast, it will send it back here and here and this switch continue to sending all broadcasts to all the way and it will be make a big loop and broadcast storm in our network which bring down our networks. So how the spanning tree can help us to prevent the loop in our networks. So before we go into the process, let's show some show command here on the switch number zero. I enable the switch and use the show spanning tree and press enter. As you can see here, there are some information about the spanning tree on this switch. We have a root ID, we have a bridge ID some numbers like priority and address priority and address here also and hello time some information about our interfaces let's try with other switch here switch number one is a good option and enable show span and here also we got the almost a similar information root id bridge id other information as you can see the root ID is priority and address is here here and let's finally go back to the switch number two and enable and show spanning tree and here we check root ID and bridge ID but there is one difference this bridge is the root and why this, re this switch is elected as a root so STP will following the, these steps to find the root bridge and prevent the loop in our networks. First of all, these switches find the root bridge. So, elect the root bridge is the first step. Then, each switch tries to find the best path to the root bridge. So, select the best path to root bridge and finally block unnecessary ports unnecessary ports yeah okay these are the steps to select the spanning tree in our networks but how this switch select the root bridge the root bridge is based on the router id and router id is also contained with the number as a priority plus the MAC address. So I write it down root ID or bridge ID, which is better we call it bridge ID because when it's elected as a root ID, a root bridge, it will be set as a root ID. So bridge ID will be the number 32768 plus the MAC address. But actually, the Number 3268, 60, uh, 32, okay, 768 is plus WLAN ID and MAC address. As you can see here, let me zoom it and show you to you. And the bridge ID is a 32769, which is 
So it means 768 plus 1, which is the VLAN 1 in our networks. So, and the MAC address, as you can see, this switch is have a MAC address. In the spanning tree protocol, if the bridge ID are the same, the MAC address will help us to find the root bridge. And in the spanning tree words, is always the lower is better. Let's take a look at the MAC address of each switches in this network. To do that, we have a several way. One of the way is using the show spanning tree. As you can see, we can find the MAC address of our switch as well as our root bridge. And another command which will help you is a show version. And here we are. Yep. You can see the MAC address of the Ethernet switch here. And this is 5102 is almost equivalent to here our bridge ID 5102 I don't read the entire MAC address is too long okay so let me zoom back here and on a switch to okay show a spanning tree and this bridge is root bridge and let's write down these numbers 32769 0001 and 055V. We need to compare the MAC address of each of them. I'll leave it and try to open them side by side. And okay, where is the other one? Yeah, okay, this is switch one. This is a switch number two. Let me do the one show a span and we can compare them side by side if possible and finally where is the switch number two is here okay I hope I can zoom and show show it to you okay let's zoom it okay here we are the switch number zero and switch number one the priority are the same, 32769, here and here, but look at this. Sorry, you should still look at this. Look at the bridge ID here, actually. By the way, the priority are almost the same. Okay, the address is 0005 and 0007. Which one is lower? Obviously, this one. Okay, so for that reason, but take a look at the root ID MAC address, 0001, 0001, which is lower than both of these two MAC address. And if you take a look at this, let me zoom and go to the switch number two. Okay, you can see here, this bridge is root, and the bridge ID and the root ID will be the same. 32769, 32769. And the MAC address 0001.631111. And here in the other switch, you can see our MAC address is higher than the, our root bridge. So the MAC address and the bridge ID is can break the tie as I show you. So we can land here. This switch is became our the, the root. Then each of these switch try to find the best path to the root. Let's take a look at this table. Okay, these are some information for you. And it shows that the data rate and spanning tree cost for each link. If we have a 10 megabit per second link, the spanning tree cost will be 100. If we have a 100 meg links, which is a normal cat 5e and cat 6, nowadays it's a the spanning tree cost will be 19 and uh, finally for the 1 gig like the cat 6 the cost will be 4 and etc so in the spanning tree as i mentioned lower is better in this scenario each of our links between these switch are the normal 100 megabit per second link so the cost will be 19 here we are another 19 here i just write down for you in this helps you for better looking at this scenario. Okay, we have three links here, each cost 19, 
and this is our root bridge as we can see the root ID, bridge ID of this switch is elected as a lower one and as a root ID of this topology so we call it root bridge and here we are so switch number zero try to find the lowest cost to the root bridge which is this link so switch number one also try to find the best path to the root bridge which is this link with the cost of 19 and finally between these two switches we will see one of the side of our links is orange or black you may ask why why it's like that you may guess this one just back about the bridge ID again in the spanning tree lower is better so we can compare the bridge ID of the switch 1 and 0 let's take a look at this switch number 0 this switch and switch number 1 okay here we go switch number 0 side by side and let's zoom it and see why one of the links are blocked and the other one is not okay let's take a look at here the bridge ID here on this switch the MAC address is lower so the switch number 0 is still on a forwarding mode as you can see the information about the interfaces FA0 slash 2 is a root bridge with the cost of 19 the others two other paths uh, ports will be designated and still forwarding but in this switch as you can see on the switch number one one of the port is a root bridge which is this this links here and the other one is a, as a FA01 is block and because of the higher MAC address and total bridge ID and this is the how the spanning tree protocol actually works the process is sometimes take time it depends on your scenario and let's see about how it really works and how you can configuration the spanning tree protocol because the bridge ID is based on the priority and the MAC address sometimes the root bridge is not the exact root bridge the network administrator wants for example in this scenario as we can see this access lever switch is became a root bridge which is not very good idea because if this PC want to communicate with this server should go to this switch and then reach to the switch number zero and reach to our server so for better performance it is better we select the switch zero as a root bridge of this topology and usually it's better the root bridge is be in our center of your network or as your the core or um, uh, core level switch okay let's see how we can make the switch zero as our root bridge you may guess that we can play with the bridge of the bridge ID of this switch to make it lower and make it as a root bridge so we go to the global config mode here and we use the spanning tree and question mark as usual as you can see here we can have set the mode the port pass which will I explain in the further videos and the VLAN so go to spanning tree VLAN in this scenario we got one VLAN only and question mark again I can change the priority number set the bridge priority for the spanning tree or I can use the, the keyword root I use the root and question mark in case in your core level of your network you got two core switch you can make them as a primary and secondary root which one of them it goes down the other one can take a lead of the spanning tree and finally press enter let's I show you spanning tree VLAN number root primary and press enter so you can see these topology start to changing the switch number two is no more our root bridge let's move this root bridge here and waiting to the spanning tree process is finished okay let me control Z here 
and show span here to see is changes happening or not yes as you can see here what we got the bridge this bridge is our root the root id here and the command we enter is automatically bring down the priority level to the lower than other priority even our mac address is higher than the switch number two which you remember triple zero one let's take a look at other switches here okay i'll go to enable show span and yes as you can see even the MAC address of this switch is lower, but because of the priority, our root ID of the root bridge is lower than our the standard priority of our switch. Okay, so now this switch will be our center of our network. Let's do some exercise on this. I go to the PC number one. Okay. Let's go to the command prompt and do the ping in uh, packet tracer. It's a bit different. You should try ping dash t and 192.168. And okay, let's ping the server and see. Okay, is it pinging? Did I set the IP address? Let me check. Go here. Oh no, I didn't set any IP address. 192.168. Let's make it fast. 11 slash 24. Okay, PC number 2. It will be 192.168.0.10. Okay, class C slash 24. And finally, our server. I mentioned 192.168.0.1. 192.168.0.1. And class C, no need. The default gateway or DNS setting yet. Let's back to the PC and the command prompt, up arrow, and press enter. Now you can see we can continue sleeping from this PC to go to the server. Let's do some exercise. I want to shut down this port and see what's happening. So to do that, I go to the switch number two. Let's bring the ping here and see that. Okay, FA01 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is a root FA0. I will shut down the root port on this switch. Go to the interface configuration mode, config T, then interface FA0 slash 1, and using the shut and you take a look at this ping, it goes down, and I use shut. Okay. It goes down and you can see this thing became red and we received the some request timeout. The spanning tree protocol automatically try to move and select the path to the root bridge from the other switch. But it's used still as you can see the request timeout. Wait for here. This switch this thing is goes down to review. We expect that, that our packets goes from the switch 2, then switch 1, then switch 0, and finally the server. Okay, how many ping will last? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, around 10 to 15 seconds. It takes time. I don't go to detail, but for spanning tree protocol, each switch sends the BPDU on each 2 seconds to find the root bridge. Okay, then you see we get back our pings here and one two three let me pause this and take a look one two three four five six seven eight nine around ten pings will lose which takes around 15 to 20 seconds and now our packet is goes from here even our link is goes down or something happened the switch can find the best path to the root by the way, as you can see, for the modern network, especially the with voice over IP, these number of the loose pings are not very efficient. In the next video, we will see how the rapid spanning tree protocol can help us to reduce even this convergence time. Uh, okay, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this is useful for your learning and your real networks. Next video, we will talk more about the other mode of the expanding tree protocol. 
Thank you for watching again and see you in the next video very soon. Bye for now.